What is happening, guys? Welcome back to another treat unboxing! And this time around, we got. Paige, I need the drum roll. Explore Ireland! Yay! So, the box is probably filled with Guinness, but um, there's, I imagine, a couple snacks in here. <coughs> Ireland has a population of 4.7 million. It's a parliamentary democracy. And did you know that Northern Ireland is governed by the UK, while the rest of Ireland is an independent nation? Hmm. Ah, yep, Guinness beer is widely popular in Ireland. It first originated in the country and can be found throughout the country in pubs and grocery stores. Leprechauns are a huge part of Irish tradition. Leprechauns typically take children to eat them at young age. It doesn't actually say that I'm making it. <laughs> but anyway, let's jump on into it. Wait, did, did you... it talk about leprechauns at all? Or did you just it, no, it the did, entire it thing? Did. Oh. It did. It did actually mention leprechauns, but the uh, part about them eating children was uh, ad lib. I don't know if they eat children. They might. They're kind of creepy. Well, haven't you ever seen the leprechaun movies? I have. Oh, okay. Yeah. Anyway, Paige, start us on off. What is our first treat from Ireland? Do you want to go in order? Yeah, let's just go down the list. Potato, cheese, and onion. Potato crisps are a brand that is embedded in Ireland's culture and considered to be the most popular potato chips in Ireland. The Irish just can't go without their potato chips. Look at that. That's a that's a very, very pretty looking clip. I'd go there. Yeah, sounds awesome. All right, so we got potato, potato, cheese, and onion. I like the potato man. Oh, he looks like he's a worker bee. Yeah, look, they, they come with Potato Man. Oh, but they got a lion on, or a tiger on the back. Oh, Tato Park. So in addition to making potato chips, they have a zoo, I'm guessing? Or a Tato Park, which is potatoes. Just filled with potatoes and cages. <laughs> oh. Hmm. Wow. Okay. The cheese and onion flavor is very prominent. Yeah. Kind of assaults your mouth a little bit. I like to be assaulted by potato chips. <laughs> okay. I was like, I don't know where you're taking this one, but. Oh, shit. Hmm. I mean, I'm not a big fan of like sour cream and onion to begin with. So, I'm not sure. What do you think? You like them or not? I'm not a pet potato chip person, but they're good for potato chips. I'm a Doritos fan. I don't eat chips at all. So, I, I, I will write these off as okay, but not my favorite. What do we have next? What's on our Hula list? Hula Hoops, original by KP Snacks. Known for its mega crunch, delicious flavors, and unique ability to fit on fingers, Hula Hoops was first launched in 1973. Since then, it has continued to evolve and spread mischievous fun across the nation. It's like the, the, the frugals. It's like frugals, but they're Hula Hoops instead. You know when you put them on your finger? Well, I mean, maybe if you're a child, I can't get one of these. On, can you fit one of these on a finger? Like this one? Maybe they're just supposed to go like this. Like that? That's No, it's not going to work. That is an intense crunch, but I feel like they're kind of flavorless. Yeah. It's supposed to be more fun to play with than to eat. <laughs> they are flavorless. Yeah. Not a fan. All right. Well, we'll go to the next one. What do we got next? Hickory Barbecue Crisps by O'Donnell's. Hickory Barbecue Crisps. Used by... in Ireland since ancient times. Traditional smoking methods have inspired the rich taste of hickory, which infuses each of these delicious O'Donnell crisps with that unique spicy mm. and sweet barbecue flavor. All right. Now we got some O'Donnell's. So far, it seems Ireland is a... Uh... Likes potato chips. Yeah, they're, they're, <laughs> potatoes are apparently a thing over there. Yeah, I think most... Ooh, bourbon cream. That sounds good. We'll get there. We'll get there. But they're gluten-free, so... They Yay! Got that for them. I love my gluten, actually. Mmm. Well, these are pretty good. That's a good barbecue flavor. I don't know. Mmm. You like them? I don't know. Mmm. Mmm. It almost tastes kind of processed and when they are processed. <laughs> I mean, to be fair, I'm a bigger fan of barbecue chips than sour cream and onion. I just noticed we probably look dark and shadowy. Should have probably like put that on. Hey, look at that. You can actually see us now. It's amazing. The power of light. <laughs> this is what happens when you wake up and the first thing in the morning you're doing is eating a box full of potato chips. 
The more you eat, the more I don't like it. Ooh! Ooh. Cadbury's next. I like Cadbury. Cadbury? It's called Flake. Flake. You guys know, um, what are, what are they? Or, or Cadbury no, that's eggs? Kinder. Kinder, kinder oh. is what's... Kinders are banned in uh, America, the Kinder Surprise Eggs, because our kids are too stupid to open the egg and eat it without choking on the candy. Yep. Well, an old That's favorite, America. this unique treat features a delicate crumbly flakes and rolled milk chocolate. The process for making milk. it is closely guarded secret. That's why no one other chocolate bar can rival the delicate crumbly texture of a Cadbury flake. That's a pretty fucking big claim right there. Nobody knows the secret. Kind of like Bush's baked beans. All right, so it's like a. <gasps> it looks like a log. Yeah, it's a log of chocolate. That's cool. I'm not a fan. It tastes like baking chocolate. I like it. Mm -hmm. it's like a rope. Yeah, it's like creamy baking chocolate. I don't know. I think I I, I mm. like. I like it. I like additional things in my chocolate, whether it's like a, a wafer or cream or something. <laughs> I can see you like it, yeah. Drop them. Now you're getting chocolate all over the recording studio. Mm. Chocolate on her pants. There could be worse things. <laughs> <laughs> what do we got next? Put this in there. All right. Um, sham. Oh, it's not stuck in my mouth. Shamrock and sour cream potato crisp by. K-O-E-G-H-S. Cowards, grown with love in Ireland. Stuck. Proudly carbon neutral and gluten free. And look, there's a happy cow. There's a happy little cow that's like, I love crisps, the crisps are the most food ever. These potato crisps are hand cooked in small batches combined with the delicious tangy taste of sour cream and the freshness of traditional Irish shamrock. So wait, they like put actual shamrocks in it? Is it gonna mm. taste like grass and sour cream? Mm. Ooh, I like those. Mm. They're good. Mm. Well, I'm not a big fan of sour cream and onion, so once again, I'm kind of. I'd say I'm, I'm ambivalent. I am ambivalent to the chip. They're good. This is our lunch. <laughs> yeah, this, is, this is actually our lunch. This is why it's so hard to record these videos, because <laughs> either she'll be like, doing something already for the day and I'll start streaming or I'll eat lunch and then she's like hey let's open the box and I'm like I just ate a lot of food I couldn't possibly eat a box Twiglets by Jacobs is next are you just gonna keep those chips and keep eating them yeah you don't want them all right next we got Twiglets a lot of whole crunch and a whole grain munch I can already tell <clears throat> I don't think I'm gonna like these the, these famous wheat-based savory nibbles are baked and not fried and are flavored using yeast extract. Jacob's Twiglets are the quintessential British party snack. Well, the bag certainly smells like wheat. Oh, my God. No, not a fan. Not even going to finish eating that. No. This tastes like a wheat farm raped a pretzel and took its flavor out. Yeah, they're pretty bad. Yeah. It's, it's been a while, but this is... I think that may be the first thing that I've tasted in quite a while from a box that is I, I would describe as outright terrible. Do not like at all. Yeah. Crunchy by Cadbury. I, I need to... I need to, get, <laughs> I need to get rid of that flavor. That was disgusting. Oh, bad. Don't get Twiglets by yeah, Jacobs. Do, do not get Twiglets. If you like Twiglets, you're probably a monster that poops in the shower. All right, what do we got next? Crunchy by Cadbury. All right. A chunky gold bar. You took my chocolate. Um, no, I didn't. Man, where'd my twig chocolate go? Oh, yeah, I do have it. I took it. All right. Crunchy. Uh, a crunchy gold bar with delicious honeycomb, ooh, toffee sugar center, and smothered in thick Cadbury milk chocolate that shatters into mouth-watering crunchy pieces. Ooh. All right, let's cleanse that palate. Get rid of that shitty wheat taste. Cool. Is it just one? Oh, it broke. It broke! Oh, oh no! Yeah. Is it good? It sounds good. Yeah, they are good. Can I have some? 
This is good. <laughs> Whole thing in mouth. I'm gonna go from the other end since there's like slobber all over that end. Don't worry, guys. We can make out, but she's afraid of the slobber on my my candy bar. <laughs> Isn't marriage beautiful? <laughs> yeah. Now this is this is good. Honestly, I can't think of another candy I've ever had that tastes like this. No, it's different. Yeah, it's like the honeycomb in the center is really unique. It's got a very distinct mm. flavor to it. Mm. I like chocolate. Mm. It is good. You can have the rest. Yeah, this would be my oh, top. Since he has this much left, he can this, have the rest. This would be my, my uh, top of the box so far. Mm. Well, Cadbury is good in general. Mm. All right, next one. Bourbon Creams by Bolands. This bourbon cream is a sandwich style biscuit consisting mm. of two thin oblong dark chocolate flavored biscuits with a chocolate butter cream filling. The biscuit was introduced in 1910, originally mm. under the name Criola. Criola. Mm. <laughs> that, that's good. It's thick. I like it. it hangs in your mouth for a while. You're still on it? Uh -huh. God. Oh, that's good. That's really good. Bourbon creams. All right, bourbon creams. I hope it tastes like bourbon. Um. Well, we got, we got, so we have custard creams and bourbon creams. You want to start with the bourbon creams? Mm, yeah. Bourbon creams. Hoorah. I'm going to get a knife to get this guy open. Get this thing sealed up. All right, Good. bourbon creams. Finger, it says to finger. This way, finger, finger. I don't know why. Do they all say different things? Oh, they say finger. Oh, they all say finger. Put that away for later. Hmm. Hmm. I don't taste any bourbon. No, but they're good. Yeah, they kind of, they're like, um, <laughs> they're like those, uh, the fudge cookies, like yellow yeah. fudge. Yeah. I mean, they're good, but yeah, I don't, I expected like a twang oh, of uh, bourbon on them. Mm. 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 <laughs> okay, that's good. All right. Mmm. <laughs> what, are, what, what are we got next? Cheese and onion crisps by King. Made with 100% pure sunflower oil, King cheese and onion crisps combine a highly guarded recipe that the taste. Oh shit! Sorry. Guarded with recipe with the tastiest, crunchiest, freshest potatoes to give that extra cheesy cheese and onion taste. All right. Now the the potatoes were also cheese and onion. Anything less wouldn't fit the King. No, so I wanna. We're gonna do a test here because we have, we have two different cheese and onion crisps. So let's try a king, and then we're gonna try a tato, and we'll decide which is better. And then we'll try this one. This is the best, anyways. That's not cheese crisp though. No, it's not. Hold up, I got chocolate in my mouth. Cause you didn't let me finish. Okay. I think I like Tato's better. Let me see. I feel like the King goes extra heavy on the onion. I like King better. I think it has more taste. You got some chips on your lip. Not yet. I don't care. No. All right. Chip lip. Chip face. All right. And then the last <laughs> thing we I got. I got chip face last night. <laughs> are custard creams. Oh, look at this thing. It's a big old like your kid's like, Daddy, I want a snack. Yeah. And you're just like, eat the whole thing of custard creams, you fat little pork. All right. What do you call them? A pork or a hulk? A pork. Oh, it sounded like you said hulk. And I'm like, all right. The hulk is not fat. No. Oh, they're like cute little cookies. 
Did they say finger? They say custard cream. Stop spreading chips all over my PC setup or so help There's me God. There's not! Did you see that? There's nothing. You need a PC setup over there. I'm in my chair. She's just rubbing the chips throughout the atmosphere. Now I have potato in my eye. <laughs> I'm blind. Remember, this is how it happened. This will be the, the court material. All right. Crunchy biscuits with a custard cream filling made with a traditional English cream recipe flavored with vanilla, creamy, and crunchy biscuits that the Irish absolutely enjoy. Custard cream. Oh. All right, let's see. Mm. It's really pretty. It's mm. put a lot of work into it. Ah. I think they're a little flakier than the bourbon ones. It's weird. I like the bourbon ones. But I like chocolate. Mm. Hmm. They kind of remind me of, um... Mm. You know those Vienna cookies? What? They're cream Vienna wafer things. They taste like that, but flakier. I like them, but... I bet these would be like infinitely better with coffee. Yeah. Mm -hmm. and, I think, and I think that is it. Those yeah. Are all of our treats. So, so the highlights are Don't Get Twiglets by Jacobs. Yeah, Don't Get Twiglets. They're nasty. Get these chips if you want potato chips. They're good. And what was what the best one? Was uh, was definitely the, the Crunchy by Cadbury. Crunchy has it going on. All in all, though, I feel like there were too many chips. I mean, I, I don't know. I, I the, the folks from Ireland can comment on this, but I feel like they overrepresented you guys on the, the chip side of things. I feel like there's way more stuff besides chips. And, uh, like, let me see. We got one, two, three, four, five. Oh, one, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight. Yeah, half of this box was chips. Ireland is more than chips. And we need to let them know. Next time we want beer. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> add, add, add some some good good Irish stout into the box. But that is gonna be it for Ireland. So once again, thanks for coming by and watching us stuff our faces with food from different countries. If you guys want to stuff your face with food <laughs> from different countries or stuff your face with anything for that matter, <laughs> make sure to click that link down below and enter coupon code Fighting Cowboy to get a discount on your box of treats. But other than that, thanks for coming by. And we'll snack you later.